Max Sterling here. Welcome to LARPgasm. So I just borrowed this chest from some folks while they were busy drinking in the tavern. So I'm going to take a look, see what's inside. Hopefully there's some good treasure. Ooh, I see shiny, but it's trapped. You know, I just don't think I'll be able to fit my hand far enough in there to get the trap. So I didn't bring my swords because I was just in the tavern. You know, it's times like this, I really wish I had a dagger so I could just stick it in there, disarm the traps I need to, and also, you know, have something to fight with in case things get rough in here. You know, like when people find out that their box is missing. But where would I get a dagger? <laughs> I know. I'll call my friends at Nighthawk Armory. Hmm. Just go on their website here. That was sure easy, and with their fast shipping, I should have this thing in no time at all. So while I'm waiting, let's go ahead and talk about some other things. Oh, wait, I think I hear someone. <laughs> it's already here. And there it is, <clears throat> the Paladin Dagger by Forgotten Dreams from my friends at Nighthawk Armory. Now this dagger uh, is really big. <laughs> now if you're a smaller person, this dagger is going to be even bigger still. And yes, that's what I tell the ladies. <clears throat> you can see that it has the Forgotten Dreams sort of signature look to it. The blade is a sort of shiny silver, but it's not you know, real sparkly or anything. And they also have the suede wrapped grip, which I think adds a nice aesthetic to the piece. Now this is the Paladin's Dagger, so of course it's fancy. It has some gold paint on it and, uh, you know, really sort of looks the part of a Paladin. Now, for me, sneaking something like this inside might be a little bit tough. But if you're going to use a dagger to fight with, this is probably the way to go. It's a very nice sized weapon so if you had to try to fight someone with a sword first off you have a cross guard so you can stop blades from sliding down it. Also it's got some reach to it so I mean if you really need to get in there and get somebody you know I would rather this be a little bit bigger and perhaps a little bit harder to conceal than be too small and throw my arm out of the socket trying to you know stab someone with it or you know, miss all together. So, <clears throat> the question is now, is this going to be able to pick my trap? Mm. 
The answer is yes. Wow. And sure enough, there's my glittering prize. So we'll go ahead and uh, add this to the old Max Treasury Vault. And as far as this dagger, if you're in the market for a small but lethal weapon, or if you're a paladin and you want something that screams, hey, look at me, I have a giant dagger and I'm going to throw this basically short sword equivalent into your chest from my horse uh, to smite thee, then this may be the weapon for you. Keep in mind that Forgotten Dreams is a German company. They've been making these weapons for a long time, so there's a very high probability that most LARPs will accept this. Now, as far as for throwing, I would throw this, um, but I know not all LARPs support latex throwing weapons, and this is not specifically uh, referred to as a throwing weapon, although it's very light, it does have a core inside of it, and I think it would fly very well, but you know, you're going to have to abide by your LARP's rules. So, if this is something you think you may like to purchase, please check out Nighthawk Armory's website. The link is below. And if you decide to purchase this or anything else from them, please be sure and tell them that Max sent you. So, I'm going to see if I can put this box back in the tavern before anyone notices it's missing. And uh, well, until next time, adventure on. Seriously, though, where am I going to put this thing? Okay, so it wasn't nearly as hard to conceal as I thought. <laughs> what do I know? I just wanted to take a moment to review Nighthawk Armory's website with you. The website is www.latex-weaponry.com and this website is just a vast resource of information for you. Aside from selling the weapons, like I said, the owner is an avid LARPer and he has just collected a bunch of useful information on this site for you to use. As far as the site, the first thing you're going to see when you come here is that the weapons are laid out by type and also by manufacturer, so there's no reason you can't find what you're looking for here. They offer weekly specials, and any new information is listed right on the main page. If you come down to this side here, and click on where it says compare product lines, you can compare all of the weapons they have on some basic categories to get an idea of what you may be interested in. And also there's an approval list, which is just absolutely phenomenal. It tells you which LARPs in the, you know, the US or even abroad approve these type of weapons. So if you're not sure if your LARP would approve, say, you know, a Forgotten Dream Sword, you can look at this list and see if it's on there. Now, that doesn't guarantee that your LARP is going to allow it. However, it takes a lot of the guesswork out. So if you see that at least that brand is okay with your LARP, then that increases the chance of it being approved. But you're definitely going to need to check with them for each individual case to make sure that they approve the weapon. You can also look here on the site under information. There is just tons of info. Now there's info on Nighthawk Armory's policies as far as you know shipping and their returns and everything. However, there's also general info and maintenance, which tells you essentially how to deal with latex weapons, you know, how to maintain your latex weapons, you know, what not to do with latex weapons, you know, like hitting people in actual plate mail with them and causing them to rip. Also, they give you information how to customize your weapon, and this is just phenomenal. You click on this, it'll give you information on hand painting your weapon, and also there's an entire section on Kalamazoo weapons and customizing them. And it tells you basically everything you need to do. And it also covers fortifying the weapons as well. So, you know, just incredible amount of information that would take you tons of time to find, you know, elsewhere. They also have information on how to repair the hilts and also how to build a thrusting tip. Now, of course, if your LARP allows that, there's also even general information on LARPing, just sort of in general. So this is really just a incredible website, www.latex-weaponry.com. 
Nighthawk Armory. Even if you're not purchasing today, check out their website, check out the information that they offer to you because it's going to be of use to you at some point in time if you own a latex weapon. And then when you are ready to purchase, be sure to take a look at what they have to offer because their prices are going to be the lowest price guaranteed. They offer free shipping. And like I said, they ship basically the next business day if it's in stock. So you get your products real fast. And uh, I would really appreciate it if you give them some business. Of course, if you do check them out and purchase something from their site, be sure to tell them that Max sent you 